Hi, Jeff Love here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. Today I'm here with my Dragon Breath 100. This is a hydronic uh, water to air heat exchanging unit, which is currently mounted in all different applications. I'll go through that shortly. It is 110 volt. Uh, it is a water-based unit, so you're going to send in a boiler water in and out of this unit. Uh, it has a fan mounted in the back, which will blow the air through your heating area that you would like to heat. The unit heater motor is a totally enclosed air over motor enclosure, which produces 1200 CFM, a sleeve bearing system, and a 1550 RPM motor, a Venturi designed fan as well. The water to air heat exchanger have aluminum fins 12 per inch with the 22 gauge galvanized steel frame. The 3 8 seamless tubing, three core construction for better heat exchanger. High flow of 12 gallons per minute in the manifold and can handle pressures up to 175 PSI and can handle temperatures of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It is an L grade copper with 99.9% .9 pure copper with high solder used. All the ports can also handle the shark bite fittings as well. The Dragon Breath unit heater has adjustable louvers that can be adjusted at any angle that will best serve your application. We also have the fans that can handle the variable speed controller so you can regulate with the turn of a knob to regulate the variable speeds shown in this display above. The unit heater uses a 110 volt fan which can easily be hooked up to a 110 volt thermostat which can regulate the temperature of wherever you're setting this up. It comes in four sizes, 70,000 BTU, 100,000 BTU, which is seen here, 150,000 BTUs, and a 200,000 BTUs. They can be used in applications such as workshops, greenhouses, garages and bays, warehouses, heating basements, heat dumps, brewery distilleries, and corn cribs, and many more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little magic trick for you. Watch this. I'm going to make this go away. Okay, that should do it. What we're looking at here is there's six different applications that uh, some of my customers have used and they sent us pictures showing us what they have done. In the first picture here, it is a picture of a work bay. And in this work bay, they are using an L bracket system. They basically made it, they got an L bracket system and they screwed it together and made a shelf kind of setup there, as you can see in the work bay setup. In the second picture, they're showing a uh, unit heater where they had to have a clean environment. So they mounted the, the Dragon Breath unit heater with a big filter on it. Uh, they have a very clean environment um, and I don't really remember what the application was that they had had such a, a dust free environment. In the next picture in the middle on the left, you'll see a picture of a distillery. And what that is, is the water that cools the mash in the brewing application. And if I'm pronouncing or calling that wrong, I apologize. I, I don't know anything about brewing but I found it very interesting. The picture to the right of that is a man cave. And what this application is, he built a little shelf and he has, that's where he stores his toys, his quads, his motorcycles, his boat and other things in there. And on the bottom left, it's where he has it just simply mounted in a garage. Again, this is a simple L bracket design uh, mounting system. And then on the right, uh, this customer put it in, in his trophy room. And this customer used a 3 8 rod mount on this application. All very simple. These units are small and compact. They're adjustable louvers, easy to install, inexpensive, but high quality. Works with any kind of boiler. So you don't not only need a wood boiler, you can use uh, fossil fuels, propane, LP, any other system that you can think of, natural gas. It is a quiet, it is high quality, and we make it here in the US of A. In this install, this is a customer that installed it in his workshop. In the picture here, you can see that the Dragon Breath, which is a Dragon Breath 70, which is 70,000 BTU unit heater, is installed on the back side of the wall finished workshop. In this application, the things that you will need, 110 volt power source, you're gonna need a hydronic supply and return, a thermostat of 110 volt, and a variable speed controller, which is an optional feature. But in this application, in this install, the customer did use the variable speed. As you can see in the picture, the boiler return always goes on the top. That's to purge the air out of the heat exchanger so you don't get a bubbling sound. The bottom port is where your supply will go, the boiler supply. In this application, the customer put the 110 volt thermostat as you can see, then goes to a plug and then to the variable speed. So when the thermostat calls 
for heat. It will simply go to the variable speed, which the variable speed will regulate the speed, uh, the speed of the fan, and then blow air through the heat exchanger, getting to the temperature that the room is set to thermostatically. Very simple. It shouldn't take more than a couple hours to do this install from start to finish. Okay, that does it for the unit heater that we make, the Dragon Breath. Go to our website at www.dragonbreathheaters.com and take a look at all the specs and information that I talked about in this video. For all our customers who already have our Dragon Breath unit heaters, we'd love to see some more pictures of installs and put them into our gallery on our website. We'd also love to see your comments. So email us at web at altheatsupply.com shown here on the screen. Please also subscribe to our YouTube and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'd like to hear your comments and please feel free to comment under any of our videos. What else you would like to see us do videos on? That would be helpful for us because we'd like to help you. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. We're Alternative Heating and Supply. We're going to try to do a video once a week. And if you have any comments to it or add anything or would like to see videos on it, please throw that up on Facebook. That's what we check on every single day. Thank you and have a great day.